you ask me, I think what the federal government and state government need to do now is to create economic activities. If you listen to Radio Mama, Abu Bakar, and Onyeneke, what they said, they should create economic activity. And what they gave was quick example of Gombe State, who has created subsidy. Look at that. It's not consumption subsidy. It's a productive subsidy. So that is what we want. So by the time you intentionally create economic activities to bring employment, you know, people will be engaged and they will even, we will have balance of payments. Like I said, because if you don't have balance of payments, you don't have favorable uh, balance of trade, there is no way this Nera flotation will favor Nigeria. It will only favor federal government to an extent and Nigeria will be worse off. And anything you are doing that majority are worse off is not a good uh, policy. So for me, there should be a way, like, like we said, it has been done already, but there should be a cushioning of this effect enough. How do you cushion the effect? Like I said, there must be short term. Short term is a pro, let's be everything flow. You know, we are happy with uh, new acts that says that there could be electricity. So in the next five years, I'm sure there should be uh, a, a, a point of uh, where everybody have the electricity. Because state are free to have electricity, uh, industrial area are free, federal government will also be doing their own. I think that is a good one. So we want to see that happen. So, But intentionally, President Tinubu should create economic activities. And how do you do that? Is by empowering MSME. MSME uh, employ more than 50% uh, of Nigerians. If you make life easy for them, it will definitely tr trickle down and the ripple effect will be positive. Yeah, I think actually when you actually mentioned that also the issue of loans from SMEs.